Good evening, everyone. Uh, this is the Salisbury City Council. Today is May 28th, 2019. This is a legislative session. Uh, during this meeting, should an emergency arise, please calmly proceed to the nearest exit down the hallway to the right and down the staircase. If unable to use, please use the staircase to the left down the hall. And should you need any special assistance, let us know. Do not use the elevator. And if anybody has a cell phone, please turn that off or silent. Thank you. At this time, I'd like to introduce uh, Elder Tyrone Cooper of New Dimensions Family Ministries. Uh, Mr. Cooper is also a Salisbury Fire Department volunteer or firefighter and the chaplain for Salisbury Fire Department. Thank you very much. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come to you this evening, Lord, first to say thank you. God, you say give thanks in all things. So we're just thanking you for this day. Now, Father, I ask you to bless each and every member here this evening, bless their families also, and all the guests. Now, Lord, have your way. You are invited into this meeting as they conduct the business of the city of Salisbury. In his holy name we pray. Amen. 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 Now, on the pledge. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Cooper. Have a good evening. All right, at this time, I'd like to call for a motion to adopt the legislative agenda as presented. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. And the chair votes aye. I'd like to uh, request a motion to approve the consent agenda. So moved. Second. Good evening. On the consent agenda tonight, we have the April 22nd closed session minutes, resolution number 2946, declaring that Opportunity Street LLC is eligible to receive Enterprise Zone benefits for property located at 200 East Vine Street because of its investment of more than $50,000 at their property located in the zone at that address. Um, resolution number 2947 declaring that Deverco Glen LLC is eligible to receive Enterprise Zone benefits for their property located at 600 Glen Avenue because of investment of more than 50000 in the property at that address. And that's it. Any questions or comments? No. All right. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 And the chair reads it. Thank you. This time I'd like to call a motion to approve resolution 2948. So moved. Second. Third. <laughs> <laughs> that pesky mayor was distracting us. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> resolution number 2948, a resolution of the City Council of the City of Salisbury, Maryland, authorizing the capacity fee of the city's comprehensive connection charge to be waived for the development of 206 East Market Street. Whereas Davis Simpson Holding LLC has requested a waiver of the capacity fee for the development of 206 East Market Street. And whereas the proposed development is located inside the city limits and the central business district. And whereas the city seeks to encourage development and redevelopment in the central business district. And whereas the city seeks to reduce the capacity fees for eligible development <coughs> and redevelopment in the central business district by means of, a, of an equivalent dwelling unit, EDU incentive area. And whereas the proposed development of 206 East Market Street requires a total of 37 equivalent dwelling units of water and sewer service. And whereas the current capacity for one EDU is $3,533. And whereas the capacity fee for 37 EDUs is $130,721. And whereas the City Council approved a capacity fee waiver process under ordinance number 2258 for development in the Central Business District. 
And whereas the, develop the Director of Infrastructure and Development reviewed the request and has determined the project is eligible for the capacity fee waiver, and whereas the Mayor requested reviewed the request and supports sending the request to City Council, and whereas if approved, the EDU allocation for the capacity fee waiver is valid for two years from the time of signing of this resolution, and whereas the property owner has the option to request an extension of the allocation of two one-year terms if approved in writing by the Director of Infrastructure and Development prior to the expiration of the term, and whereas the, allocate, the allocated EDUs are assigned to the development of 206 East Market Street and cannot be transferred by the recipient. Any questions or comments? <laughs> Hearing none, call for the question. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 And the chair votes aye. This time I'll entertain a motion to approve resolution number 2949. So move. Second. Resolution number 2949, a resolution of the City of Salisbury, Maryland to approve the City's Consolidated Plan for Program Years 2019 to 2023, the Action Plan for the Community Development Block Grant, CDBG funds for Program Year 2019, and the 2019 Analysis of Impediments to Fair Housing Choice. Whereas the Maryland State Office of the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development, HUD, has determined that the City of Salisbury qualifies as an entitlement community, and whereas the City of Salisbury is therefore entitled to receive community development grant CDBG funds directly from HUD upon HUD's approval of the City's consoli consolidated plan, annual action plan, and analysis of impediments to fair housing choice, and whereas the Council of the City of Salisbury wishes the City to receive this annual allotment of CDBG funds from HUD to fund the completion of various community development projects. Any comments or questions? Mm -hmm. Call for the question. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 And the chair votes aye. This time I entertain a motion to approve ordinance number 2542 for second reading. So moved. So moved. Second. Okay, good evening. Good evening. It's an ordinance of the City of Salisbury approving an amendment of the FY 2019 budget to appropriate funds for the street resurfacing and concrete repair, whereas the City of Salisbury Department of Infrastructure and Development has completed paving and concrete repair projects throughout the city that are eligible for reimbursement from MDOT SHA, and whereas the city has received reimbursement from MDOT SHA in the sum of $90,707.10, and whereas the Department of Infrastructure and Development seeks to reimburse the operating account from which the original appropriation was budgeted in order to continue the citywide paving and concrete programs. Now, therefore, be it ordained by the City Council of the City of Salisbury, the City's fiscal year 2019 budget is hereby amended as follows. Decrease the MDOT reimbursements budget by $90,707.10 and increase the citywide street maintenance budget by an equivalent amount. Are there any comments or questions? <laughs> All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 And the chair votes aye. Uh, entertain a motion to approve ordinance number 2543 for so second reading. So moved. Second. Okay, this is an ordinance of the City of Salisbury approving a budget amendment of the FY 2019 general fund to appropriate funds for attorney's fees, whereas the city has projected the amount of attorney's fees expected for 2019, and whereas the City of Salisbury's projection indicates an increase of $89,515.04 in FY19 appropriations is needed in the city uh, in account uh, for the city attorney in order to meet the projected requirements for legal fees for the remainder of FY 2019. Now, therefore, be it ordained by the city council of the city of Salisbury that the city's fiscal year 2018 general fund budget be amended as follows. Um, increase in the current year surplus uh, by $89,515.04 and an increase in the city attorney account by an equivalent amount. Have any questions or comments? Mm -hmm. right. Hearing none, call for the question. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Chair of its aye. This time I'll entertain a motion to approve ordinance number 2544 for first reading. So moved. Second. 
Okay, this is an ordinance of the City of Salisbury approving an amendment of the City's capital project budget to reallocate funding for the Riverside Circle project. Whereas ordinance number 2394 authorized the City to sell bonds in FY17, which appropriated funds for various capital projects. And whereas the FY17 bond includes funding for Riverside Circles, uh, Spine Rail Trail, and the Aquatic Harvester. And whereas the Department of Infrastructure and Development is seeking to move unused funds from the Spine Rail Trail, the Aquatic Harvester, and the interest revenue from the bond pool to the Riverside Circle Project to provide the funding necessary for construction of the Riverside Circle Project. Now, therefore, be it ordained by the City Council, the City of Salisbury, Maryland, the City's Capital Projects budget be and is hereby amended as follows. And the uh, chart there sets forth uh, the amounts that were, are being moved um, in order to meet those expenses. Any questions or comments? Yep. Hearing none, call for the question. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 And the chair votes aye. <coughs> Entertain a motion to approve ordinance number 2545 for first reading. So moved. Second. Okay, uh, this, uh, this is an ordinance of the City of Salisbury approving a budget amendment of the FY 2019 general fund to appropriate additional funds for electricity for street lighting, whereas the traffic control branch has determined that additional budgeted funds are required to maintain street lighting through the end of 2019, and whereas the City of Salisbury has determined there is insufficient funds available in, in, in other accounts to transfer to cover the amount required now, therefore, be it ordained by the City Council of the City of Salisbury, Maryland, the City's fiscal year 2019 general fund budget be amended as follows. Increase current year surplus, by $145,000, increased Department of Field Operations traffic control by an equivalent amount. And Mr. President, it's my understanding that there uh, will be a, an amendment offered mm -hmm. to this. Yes, yes, sir. Okay. <coughs> I'd like to make a motion to amend line 17 and line 19. I'd like um, to omit $145,000 and replace it with the correct figure of $115,000. I'll second that. Any comments or questions on that? All those in favor of the amendment to ordinance number 2545, please signify by saying aye. 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 The chair votes aye. And then all those in favor of the amended uh, ordinance number 2545, please signify by saying aye. 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 And the chair votes aye. And one other thing, Mr. President, I noticed that in ordinance number 2543, it refers to fiscal year 2018 in the second paragraph, mm -hmm. which is an error. That would be the 2019, which is the current fiscal. Would you like me to just okay. correct that yeah, typo, I, or do you want to? It's correct okay. in the earlier paragraph. It's, it's incorrect in the second one. Okay, so it's just a typo. We'll make sure it's. Okay. okay. Yeah, I okay. see where you see. Well, it's, it's, it's inconsistent it's, uh, from line earlier 14. to the Yeah. Line 14. Thank you. Oh, 2019. Yeah. Just like the one we just read, it yeah. should have said 19 in both spots. Mm -hmm. I assume we have no public comments. No. no. <laughs> Any comments from the council? Uh -uh. Mr. Mayor, anything? No, sir. Okay, with that, we are adjourned. Have a good evening. All right.